Poor little Jimmy. He certainly had a tough life. When he was seven, Jimmy was molested by his teacher. And naturally that screwed him up for the rest of his life. He never liked school after that, and he dropped out when he was 18 and got himself a dead-end job working in a warehouse, where one day one of his colleagues wasn't paying attention, driving the forklift, hit Jimmy, knocked him over and rolled over him, and Jimmy ended up paralyzed from the waist down and in constant pain. When he was 25, Jimmy had gotten so fed up with the pain that he started drinking alcohol. And when he was 30, he died of cirrhosis of the liver. Jimmy's life has been quite miserable. Quite miserable indeed. But let's just look for a moment at who's responsible for all this misery in Jimmy's life. Well, of course, Jimmy's teacher, that bastard. He should have kept his hands to himself and other appendages where they belonged inside his trousers. He is certainly to blame for an awful lot of the misfortune that has befallen Jimmy. That's for sure. And that colleague of his, who was too busy texting on his phone or whatever he was doing, he should have watched where he was going in his forklift. And if he had watched where he was going, he wouldn't have knocked over Jimmy, and he wouldn't have caused all this pain and suffering to him. But Jimmy himself is not completely off the hook either, because he didn't need to hit the bottle as hard as he did. And people warned him that his drinking habits were getting out of hand. And Jimmy wouldn't listen, and so he got sick, and so he started to suffer even more, and so he eventually died the miserable death of an alcoholic. So a lot of people can shoulder the blame for all the pain and suffering that Jimmy endured during his life. But I'm not entirely sure if and how Jimmy's parents could possibly be blamed for any of this.